and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're going to be doing the top 10 PRS optics that are right for you. We're going to be starting with the lowest price point all the way to the highest. And these are all my recommendations based on the reviews that I've completed on these optics over the years. So I'm going to be doing this video every year as an update. So you always have an updated list of the top 10 PRS optics. And for these optics, just for your information, they're all going to have Christmas tree style reticles. They're all going to have exposed turrets. They're all going to have 10 mils per revolution. They're all going to have zero stops. They're all going to have wide magnification ranges. All the essentials that you demand for PRS. So let's start off with actually a bonus one for the Canadian industry. This is made by Discovery Optics. This is the Discovery ED PRS. So it has 10 mils per revolution. It's got 31 mils of internal adjustment. Uh, the turrets are super audible, super positive. Listen to this. Really, really nice. Uh, the focus parallax also quite smooth. You're going to notice it has an oversized focus parallax knob. Now, usually they do this because getting the fit and finish close to perfection or perfection at this price is pretty much impossible. So having a smooth focus parallax knob can be accomplished by adding more leverage. So if you put a larger wheel with really, really nice knurling on this, you can accomplish a smooth parallax knob that way. Also, the magnification is a little bit stiff. But again, it comes with a throw lever, which will help compensate for that. The glass quality in this is excellent. And at $560 Canadian, there is nothing that even comes close to this in terms of competition. So if you are on a budget and you have $560, $570 to spend, this is absolutely the optic I recommend you buy. I recommend nothing else at this price, unless you have slightly more to spend. Now. Let's talk US and Canada market. So Arkin Optics is a company you probably would have heard of if you're looking for an optic around this price. In the US, their prices are ridiculously low. At $299 right now on sale, the SH4, 6 to 24 by 50, 31 mils of internal adjustment, they are on sale for $299, or regular price, $464. In Canada, they're $700. But still, this is the best value for your money that you can find in the current industry today. This one has 31 mils of internal adjustment. It's got a very simple style zero stop. This one is the only different one that has eight mils per revolution as opposed to the other ones, which all have 10. It has a super audible positive turrets. Listen to these. So really, really nice. And the focus parallaxes are also quite smooth. The glass quality in this is really, really nice too. Next, our third recommendation is another Arkin. The 5 to 25 by 56. The main differences between this one and the SH4, it has 10 mils per revolution. It still has like 31 mils of internal adjustment, a simple style zero stop that doesn't use up any of the amount of internal adjustment. The fin finish on this is also very, very nice. And the glass quality is ED glass as opposed to the SH4, which had HD glass. So at this point in time, this one retails for the sale is 449 currently or 564 US or $900 Canadian. This is my top recommendation if that's your budget. Now, a little bit of interesting information about Arkin. I think they kind of revolutionized the industry because prior to them, the deliverables you would get for like, you know, $564, which is the regular retail price was kind of disappointing. You didn't really get a zero stop. You got okay glass. The reticles were decent, the fit and finish was mediocre, and actually the competition from the large companies is still very much that. Their focus parallax knobs are usually kind of small and dainty, they're kind of stiff, the magnification also usually pretty stiff. Uh, the, the, their deliverables aren't nearly as, as, as appealing as the Arkin optics, which is really why Arkin kind of exploded in popularity. They were kind of like nobody until now, they're like the most popular budget optic in the industry. Their offerings, their, in terms of glass quality, features, they're, they're blowing away the competition. In the past, you would never see an optic with like 32 mils of internal adjustment for $560 US. Never. Never. Like five years ago, this did not exist. Now, it's really pushed a lot of the companies, the large companies, to kind of scramble and try to come up with something somewhat comparable. Which is why we're going to see on this list is the majority of these optics aren't from the big massive companies. They're a lot from medium to smaller sized companies. Next on our list is the Rhydon 5 Conquer. So it doesn't have the 32 mils of internal adjustment, but it tracks really well and it's got about 70 MOAs worth of internal adjustment or 20 mils. 
Now, the race for 32 males has really been pushed by the industry and by the ELR kind of community that kind of made, I guess, everybody believe they needed 32 males. When you don't, <laughs> just the, I guess, a month or two ago, I was shooting out 1,495 yards and now I only needed to dial 16 mils, and that was on a 6.5 Creedmoor. So I would be very capable and able to do it with the Rhydon 5 Conquer with its 20 mils if I have the correct base on it. And keep in mind, you can also use the reticle for additional holdovers if necessary. So it very much is, is competent in the current PRS type industry. So it's got good quality glass. The fin finish on the 5 Conquer is really nice. It does have a throw lever also to make the magnification slightly smoother. It's a good quality optic at $753 US or $1,100 Canadian. Next optic is actually very comparable in price to the Rhydon 5 Conquer is the Element Titan. They have a slightly different approach on it. It's another 5 to 25, but by 56 millimeter objective. ED glass has got 10 mils per revolution as like all the other ones do and all the other ones to come also do. But the difference on this one has a very simple and very user-friendly re-zeroing system. You simply remove the cap after unscrewing this top cap and you can re-zero your turret. I thought that was a very nice way to approach it. Additionally, they advertise that their turrets, their internal components are manufactured out of stainless steel, which most companies don't advertise what they're made of, usually because they're brass, which is not quite as hard as stainless steel. The glass quality and the fin finish on this uh, Element Titan is also quite nice. To note at this price is the quality control, fit and finish, you are going to get some stiff focus parallaxes. You are going to get some stiff magnification rings. It's just very difficult for them to control these and keep them to perfection, kind of like you're going to see when we go up from a thousand. So our next optic, the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2 525 by 50 retails in the US for $1,050 or in Canada they're $1,500. Uh, they have 70 MOAs worth of internal adjustment or 21 mil. So again, they don't boast the most about internal adjustment, but as we went over earlier, it's not particularly necessary. Uh, the glass quality in this is a little step up from the Element Titan, but it's worth it if you have the additional money to spend. I wasn't the biggest fan of the Viper PST, which is why I actually don't have it in front of me right now, um, because of its zero stop mechanism. It doesn't have the most intuitive zero stop mechanism that I've seen and uh, that's why I kind of sold it. But in terms of glass quality and fin finish, it was quite nice. And at this price and going up is where we really see the quality control really get itself refined, get itself to perfection. Our next recommendation is the Tract Toric Ultra HD. This is the four to 20. This one retails for $1,294 US or in Canada, 1,744. I think the price increase over the Viper PST is absolutely worth it because the fit and finish on this is excellent and it compares to many others at a higher price point. So the Focus Parallax, buttery smooth. You turn this with, like, with really, really nice ease, the magnification, also perfect and this is where you're going to see much more consistently over like a 10 uh, optic batch as opposed to the 750 dollar you're going to see like one that's buttery smooth everywhere and then the rest have a little bit of stiffness here and there and it has 70 moa or 20 mils of internal adjustment our next recommendation is another tracked torque this is another track torque ultra hd but this is the 4.5 to 30 magnification um, the big difference in this is Actually, surprisingly, the magnification is even smoother than the Track Torque Ultra HD, the 4 to 20. The uh, focus parallax is about the same. They both have locking turrets, and they both have very positive, slightly audible turrets. This one, ha on the other hand, has a ton of internal adjustment. It has 31 mils of internal adjustment. So if you're looking for an extreme long range optic, or a PRS optic, this is an excellent option. And I kind of want to take a break at this price point to kind of let you know that at this price and kind of beyond, so there's a lot of competition at this price. There's the Athlon Cronus, there's the Delta Striker, there's the Apex Rival. There is many optics around this price that are competitive with their offerings. They're very, the fit and finish on these is excellent. What we see beyond this, this is where you kind of start to spend a lot to get a little bit more. This is kind of what I recommend is the best value for your money. And this one retails $1,694 US or $2,254 Canadian. So an excellent value. Next on our list is the IOR Raider. This is the 3 to 25 by 56 optic. This one looks very different compared to all the other optics I've 
ever reviewed. Uh, in fact, it's not made in any of the same factories that the other ones are made of, which is why it looks so different. This is a 56 millimeter objective, 40 millimeter tube. It has 40 mils of internal adjustment and by 3 to 25 magnification range. The magnification ring is super smooth, like really, really nice and smooth. The focus parallax, again, really, really nice and smooth. The turrets, nice and audible. They are obviously, as you can tell, locking turrets. It has a very simple style zero stop mechanism, actually quite similar, reminiscent to the Arkinsta, which is simple screw, you screw it down until it stops and that'll stop you from going beyond that point. It does have a secondary reference point on the turret. So as you can see here, this, this simply turns here. It has no impact on the internal uh, turret system. It simply is an external reference point that you can put on the four mils, the 4.5, the 4.4, whatever you want, it'll just like stay there. So if you wanted, uh, if you know that at 500 yards, you have to put out four mils, so you can just leave that one there and always just go back to that exact point of reference. I find it's kind of a neat take. 40 mils is kind of way above and beyond what the majority of us need. If you need this amount of internal adjustment, well, you know you need it. There's no point in just, for the sake of buying your a PRS optic, buying one with 40 mils, unless you are planning on using that rifle, that optic, uh, to longer ranges. Maybe you want one excellent quality optic for both disciplines. Maybe you want it for your PRS rifle, because you don't feel like splitting this amount over two optics, because you can simply use one for both. So you can use this for ELR and for PRS. Also, one other thing to note about this is it has the widest field of view on any optic in the industry that I've seen. So that'll actually help you in PRS. So that one is $2,711 Canadian, which is a ridiculously good price for what it's offering. Now we're talking amazing glass quality, crap ton of internal adjustment, zero stop, everything you can want, a fit and finish that is, is, is amazing, everything you would demand at this price. So I'm gonna leave you some links in the descriptions below that one. You can find it on muria.ca, M-U-R-E-A dot C-A. Next is our final recommendation. This is the US Optics Foundation 25X or FDN 25X. So it doesn't have the tons of internal adjustment that the majority of the other ones have, but it has 72 MOA or 21 mils. It does have this interesting hidden feature in the turret that gives you like an extra hidden amount of internal adjustment, I believe around 20 MOA. So you can kind of zero your reticle and use the most of the amount of internal adjustment from your 72 MOA or 21 mils. It has really audible positive turrets. The fit and finish on this is excellent, excellent, as you really expect at this price. And the glass quality is where I think it kind of shines beyond the rest. It is marginal after the $2,000 price point. It is marginal beyond the $2,700 price point, but it is still there. So if you have the money and you want that very marginal advantage, it does have the best glass out of all the optics that I currently have and out of all the optics that I've currently reviewed. And this one retails for $3,369 US. So in Canada, around $4,000. So if you're looking for top tier optics, these ones should be on the list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe. In the description of this video, I'm gonna leave links to all the uh, of the optics reviews that I've done on each and every one of these individual optics. I'll leave some links in the descriptions below for each and every one of them for you to be able to find these at this price. These are my recommendations based on the reviews that I've completed. These are the most competitive optics at the price points that they're at. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.